Happy National Video Games Day, everyone! If you didn't know, it's the one day each year where everyone who doesn't play a video game for at least 30 minutes is rounded up and shot. So make sure you find some time to fit in that play session. New details have sprung up online concerning AMD's upcoming Zen CPUs, namely their chipset. We know that Zen will use the AM4 socket on motherboards, but now we know those will be divided into three chipsets, the entry-level A320, the mid-range B350, and the high-end X370 chipset. Reportedly, we'll get our first look at AM4 motherboards in October, with Zen itself launching in February 2017, which is also around when Intel is expected to launch their KB Lake CPUs on the Z270 chipset. CPU competition might actually get interesting again. Shh! You'll jinx it! Ah. Uh. Sorry. MSI has finally taken the wraps off their long-teased VR backpack, and its name? The VR1. It's like the Neo of VR backpacks. Which isn't saying much because there's only like three or four at this point. But anyways, the pack weighs just 3.6 kilograms or around eight pounds. It's got two hot swappable batteries that'll get you 1.5 hours of playtime. MSI hasn't dished out detailed specs, but we do know there's an overclocked Intel Core i7 and a GeForce GTX 1070 mobile inside. For I.O., there's HDMI mini display port, a Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C port, and four additional USB 3 Type-A ports. The only thing that's missing is some jets, because I think we can all agree a VR jetpack would be much better than a VR backpack. What are you gonna do next time, MSI? And we've seen a number of methods being developed for translating our full hand and finger movements into VR, but the various gloves and hand trackers seem to be taking their sweet time getting here. The Swedish robotics specialists behind Virtual Grasp are taking a different route. They've developed a system that adapts your virtual hands to change their grip on an object depending on its size and shape, but also depending on where you grab it, and this is just using regular, you know, HTC Vive controllers. If Virtual Grasp is integrated into VR experiences, it could save developers from having to resort to canned animations for interacting in VR. It's not as good as having the full flexibility of your own real hand movements, so you can do this kind of stuff, but it'll do just fine for now. See, I want, I want a VR thing where I can do this and confuse other people. Ah. It's time for... <laughs> well, you almost made it. A valiant attempt, and one that will be remembered here at NCIX Tech Tips. Well done. Thanks for your submission. Send us your own clip if you want us to play a video of you doing something weird, saying quick bits or whatever you want to say at NCIX Tech Tips. Google Cardboard is coming to iOS, well, the cardboard camera app anyway, that lets you construct 360 degree photo spheres with your phone. The 750p resolution on the iPhone 7 would probably look pretty terrible in VR anyway. Since anti-drone lasers have been developed, it was only a matter of time before anti-drone laser defenses were developed, and that's what Helios is. We don't know how it works, only that it stops lasers, so it's like a drone-mounted Kylo Ren, I guess. Speaking of armed drones, here's a drone with arms! I can totally see how the pro-drone PD-6B-AWARM would be useful, especially for hunting down and exterminating the last humans. Titanfall is not a card game, but its mobile companion, Titanfall Frontline, is. It's a Hearthstone-looking thing that hopefully will make people hate the full game less. We'll see. If you own a GTX 970, there's a website where you can sign up to get your 30 bucks from the 2015 class action lawsuit. Go get your 30 bucks, y'all! And Microsoft is reportedly killing its Lumia line of phones and possibly replacing it with a Surface phone, but we've heard these rumors a million times. What else is new? News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. <laughs> Birthdays are great. And now, Matthew, you get your very own. <laughs> Life is special. Enjoy it. Hey, you wanna win stuff? Psh, of course you do. So we're giving away a 10 terabyte Seagate hard drive for this month's Fans with Benefits. If you don't know what that is, all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from a given month. And that's it. We announce the winners on the first netlink of the next month. And also, if you've been waiting for us to announce the winners of all our packs, giveaways that we put on our PAX videos. We have a few more coming out this week, so sit tight, and we'll be announcing those soon. Right on.
All right, that's it for Nailing Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. You can click here to watch more videos, follow us on Twitter over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I don't know why I said that like that. Now I have very little time before the video game Death Squad start looking for stragglers. Better get my time in. This is what happens when we, you know, elect people who would put these kind of laws into place. Say it like